Good morning. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is a beautiful day here in East Tennessee. The sun is shining. It's a little bit cooler, but I think it's going to all around be just an awesome day. So today I have a project and it's something I've been mentioning for a while. It's my tomatoes. So my freezer in the basement is completely full of tomatoes. I've got to start tackling these things. And I think what I'm going to do with this batch is make some salsa. Now I will be doing this kind of differently. There's so many different ways that you can cook tomatoes. You can start off putting them on the stove and cook them. You can do them in the crock pot. Generally, I strain them first through my old food mill, but I won't be doing that because they're frozen. I'm gonna be using some fresh veggies and stuff from my garden to make it this time. So I'm pretty excited on how it's gonna taste. So let's get this started. Y'all, you know, whenever I get a chance to cook in my crock pot, I love to do it. I make applesauce in here. I make apple butter and they end up being the best ones that I make when I cook them in here and it's so easy to do. Look at that. Beautiful tomatoes. Such a beautiful reminder of summer and all that we harvested. We all thought I was going to be able to fit three bags in. <laughs> Will I be able to? Oh dear. I need another crock pot. I do have one, I'm tempted to bring it out. All right, y'all, I was able to put the other bag in here. It's starting to cook down a little bit. Ooh, those look so good, y'all. We've got some Amish paste, some Romas, and some beef steaks. Actually only grew about four varieties, but I always put all of them and mix them all in my sauce. All right, so they're starting to cook down, I think I'm gonna go ahead and run these through the food mill because I think they'll go through easily and I'm going to be removing the skins. So I'm working on the last portion of these tomatoes and I have gotten all of this from those and this is just the juice left in there. I'm going to go ahead and dump that out. That'll be less I'll have to cook down and I'm going to go ahead and add some more tomatoes from my freezer. All right, so this is what I've strained out of here and it may have a few seeds left in it from the little cherry tomatoes and I can run them through a strainer at the very end before I go ahead and make the salsa out of it. Going to grab more tomatoes. <laughs> So this is day two on my salsa from frozen tomatoes. Yesterday I basically let them cook down a little bit in my crock pot, enough to thaw them out really good and get some of the excess juices out. And then I run them through my food mill and got out all the skins and seeds and stems and all that kind of stuff. So I was left with a nice sauce and I put it in the refrigerator overnight because by then I didn't have time to do it and I just wanted to start over fresh today. Plus, I had to get a few ingredients that I didn't have. Now, I bought some fresh cilantro, which I hope to be growing pretty soon. I'm going to start some seeds in the greenhouse really soon. I'll probably go out this week and look for some. And then I have peppers from my garden, and I have garlic and tomatoes from my garden. And there'll be a few other things I'll add in that I, that I had to go get from the store. But as, many, but as most stuff that you can grow, the better. So I'm going to start putting this stuff all together and then at the end, also I will have the recipe in the description for y'all to look at. So here's my sauce. I've started to add some cilantro. Now I have, the recipe I have, I'm doubling it because I had so many tomatoes. I literally had 29 cups of tomatoes from all those yesterday. Now these are my frozen ones from the garden. 
and I've cooked with them quite a few times and they are delicious. They taste so good. I just let them thaw out just enough that where I can chop them up. Here's one of my red sweet peppers. So the salsa is getting closer to being done. I'm getting ready to put it in the jars. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my lids. My jars are warming in the oven. all of my salsa is finished. I actually finished it last night. We had two rounds of it in my water bath canner. I ended up getting 12 jars and a little bit left over that we already ate and it is so good. It is so much better than the stuff I've used in the past before in the packets like the Mrs. Wages. It is so amazing. I used most of the stuff from my garden and yeah it just turned out so good. I will definitely not be going back to the other and this is so easy to do. If you have extra tomatoes from your garden that you don't have time to process in the summer, go ahead and put them in the freezer. You can always use them later for stuff like this. So not only salsa, but there's all kinds of other sauces you can make or just even plain tomato sauce that you can use for a base for many things. So it works out really good. It tastes really good and you don't have to waste those tomatoes over the summer. Just go ahead and put them in the freezer. All right, you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to see you all on the next vlog.